The cemetery budget is up 81.61%. A lot of that is because work has been neglected down there. Uh, we actually spent, um, the last time we took trees, we took it out of the public works budget. There was $8,000 worth of trees taken down that were in danger of actually falling. Uh, they were badly split. Most of them were full of ants' nests. Uh, and they were, in, they were endangering the Dearborn Monument, which is the 40-foot mm -hmm. yeah. monument, the largest monument in the cemetery uh, that was donated to the town. Uh, that's, that had to be replaced. We, we couldn't afford to do it. It would take the whole, the whole uh, cemetery budget times about five to get that done. So, um, The cemetery trustees uh, have... Um, uh, gone up 9.6% in the budget on the wages. Uh, that's simply because they have hired two, they're hiring two additional employees next year because of the amount of work that needs to be done in the cemeteries. Part time wages um, up 91.96%. Those are where the two, the, that's the, the whole wage pictures together, but the two te temporary people will be on that particular line. Uh, they did give some raises. There haven't been raises given in the cemetery department in several years. Health insurance uh, is, it tends to be a blanket. Uh, the current sexton would uh, be paid that as, as a health insurance uh, stipends from the town. Social Security, of course, depends upon the wages. Uh, Medicare, the same way. New Hampshire Retirement Group 1 is the same way. That's only the sexton gets paid for that. Um, contracted services, I probably ought to go to the list because there's, there's quite a few things that are on the list. Reburials, uh, moving of moving of existing vaults, moving of headstones, mo uh, moving of cremations, and reinterment of uh, unburied cremations, um, along with tree removal, uh, stump grinding, and stone cleaning and repair. We have a number of chipped stones and uh, things that need to be repaired. Uh, we have. Some people that are buried in the wrong places, and we have to move them into their existing lots where they're supposed to be. Or we have to give them new lots because, in fact, they never bought lots, but they were buried anyhow. Um, that involves moving the vault. Everything's inside the vault. It's all contained. We're not opening anything. It just means the vault gets picked up and put in a different position, different place. Uh, cremations are something that's, as you know, they're small urns. Uh, again, buried in the wrong place, have to be moved. As long as it's within the existing cemetery, there's no general problem with doing that, and all these are within the existing cemetery. Tree, emergency tree removal is $2,000. Uh, that comes from, and you'll, you'll see we have going to have a warrant article for $50,000 for more tree removals in the cemetery, but emergencies come about simply because some of the trees are, are in bad shape and need to be removed. Stump grinding, of course, goes along with that. Stone cleaning and repair, we have a number of stones that need to be repaired. A lot of those are because of the, the trees. We have large pine trees in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. We have stones that are in some, gravestones in some cases that are a foot to a foot and a half to two feet off the ground yeah. because the roots are just pulled them right up out of the ground. Yeah. Uh, so we need to repair those and put them back in their proper settings. Um, we had uh, 12 uh, burials that were not marked, and uh, the <laughs> trustees have uh, just authorized uh, putting stones in their place, which won't happen, I believe, until next year because of the amount of money that's left. <clears throat> Telephone, electric, and heating fuel uh, are all up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> telephone's flat. Uh, heating fuel, or excuse me, electric is up um, fifty dollars. Uh, heating fuel is up five hundred dollars, and water is flat. Repairs and maintenance to equipment goes from uh, three thousand down to twenty-two hundred dollars. Supplies and expenses from twenty-five hundred dollars under up to eight thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Let me just go across that list for you. 
<clears throat> fireproof records storage cabinet to keep all the town's records in that are at the cemetery under the cemetery trustees and <coughs> are not currently protected necessary office supplies uh, safety equipment uh, the employees have some safety equipment but they don't have the re equipment required by our insurance carrier so we need to purchase that equipment if they're using chainsaws or they're using weed whippers there are certain types of equipment they have to have on to protect themselves uh, safety boots uh, that's something that really hasn't been happening in the past grass seed grass treatments um, the back side of the cemetery which is substantial in size um, they proceeded to uh, rake up the leaves in that area and found there was no grass because it's so badly infected with uh, grubs in the ground they've eaten all the grass all the grass roots so oh. we need to treat them for grubs they're they're in the top surface of the ground they're not endangering any of the vaults or anything um, but we need to keep grass there so that we can we can keep the mud to a minimum uh, because obviously we don't want that in the cemetery uh, hand tools there are some hand tools that are always necessary when you're doing work with uh, lawn equipment and so forth uh, there's filters for the equipment and those sorts of things, which which is the same. Miscellaneous parts, fittings, bolts, etc., which remains the same. Uh, but it's still a large account simply because we need to do certain things that have not been done. Gasoline, uh, that's something that's we go by the, the, the things that are set in there by the finance department based upon actual use of gallons yeah. and how much that costs. And we pick a, a representative sample of that. Cemetery improvements of $5,000 that deals with cleaning and repairing the stones by and large. Um, there will be quite a number of stones that need to be reset simply because they've been rooted right out of the ground by the trees, the tree roots, particularly the pines. Um, they need to have uh, replacement mowers. Uh, the mowers that the town has been buying up until this point in time for replacement equipment are things that you would use in your yard not something you would use in a large cemetery. <clears throat> so we need to buy better mowers um, in order to keep them for a longer period of time. We need to have toad, wheeled toad spreaders. If we're going to treat uh, the grass and the area up there to keep things alive and, and healthy, uh, we need to spread the material that's used to do that. And of course, we need to replace weed whippers on a regular basis because they wear out. So. That pretty much encompasses the library, uh, excuse me, the uh, cemetery budget. Um, we're trying to do catch up over a long period of time, and it's going to cost some money to do that. Nice. To whom do the, uh, do the cemetery trustees uh, report? Who is in charge of overseeing the trustees? The electorate. Ah. Uh, neglect? over many, many years, I would take it, looking at this mess. It's inattention it's, to detail, I think. Well, uh, you may call that neglect, but I call it inattention to detail because certain things have to be done in order to maintain a good cemetery. Well, I realize that. And, and they're I, not being done. I would, uh, huh. Um, do the trustee, do the current trustees, do you feel, understand what needs to be done here? I, I'm, I, not, I'm not I, trying to put you... No, um, I, I haven't asked them that question. I think they, they have an understanding as we work through the budget that there are certain things that their sexton has told them they need to do along with their employees, and I've tried to reinforce that. Uh, their understanding of the budget has come a long way since we started putting it together. So I think they're getting knowledge on what needs to be done. Um, I mean, we have a lot of valuable equipment up there. Yes. And a lot of it's stored outdoors, the trucks and so forth. They need to be, yeah. they need to finish the building that's there and probably need to do another addition to it at some point in the near future yeah. in order to get their equipment indoors and protect it. And, and like the old uh, cemetery plots that we talked about earlier, uh, you know, and the, you, uh, the old abandoned cemeteries but that you uh, lined up and, and we uh, 
uh, are looking at. Um, the cemetery is an important place for residents, relatives, etc. Um, do the trustees understand that they have to have meetings and post meetings and uh, have uh, minutes prepared and something so the public knows what the heck is going on? We, uh, we've insisted that happen and that has been happening since, Thank you. Uh, since March. Um, they've had regular meetings. We have posted those meetings. Cemetery minutes have been taken and they've been doing things that are similar to the way the Board of Selectmen runs your yeah. board and the things that you do, we've insisted they do the yeah. same thing. We've worked them through that process. Yeah. They're yeah. all relatively new commissioners. Yes. Well, there's, there's certainly hope on the horizon, but this is a very sad situation that this town has gotten into this with is, years of, of uh, neglect <coughs> or whatever proper term you want to choose. This is a, this is a long-term program. Just the trees in the cemetery um, we took down these five large pine trees around the Dearborn Monument because yeah. they were endangering the monument. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, I'm walking around up there inspecting other trees and I'm finding huge holes with large carpenter ants going in and out of the trees. These are trees that are 125, 150 yeah. feet tall. Um, it would take three grown men to get their arms around the base. Yep. And these trees could go any time. Yep. Uh, so we have a lot of trees up there that need to be taken down yet. In fact, there really shouldn't be pine trees or any other trees located in the cemetery. Right. Bushes are one thing, but these are mm -hmm. large, large trees. These, these trees run 100 to 150 feet tall. Yep. Uh, they need to be removed before they do more damage to the cemetery. Yeah, absolutely. That's a big price. So well, we're talking probably the next four or five years at this expenditure level in order to get things back in proper yeah. shape. Just the roads alone. Yeah. to do just an overlay on the roadways yeah. that are in there is half a million dollars mm -hmm. because they've been, they haven't been touched since the day they were put down. They're in neglect. Well, this is hopeful, I, and I appreciate the presentation here. I just hope we can build on this going forward so we don't have an accumulation of <clears throat> problems. We're trying to. Rick, did you have anything on this budget? No, thank you. Thank you, sir. Jim? Obviously, if somebody looks at this budget, they can see there have been some, as, as already stated, some major problems. Yes, there have yes. been. And we're trying diligently to correct them and do things correctly. Right, right. It's very important for the people who live in this town. Uh, my personal philosophy, and I've held one of these jobs before, is that the way people, the people in the community maintain their cemeteries and respect the people who have gone before them indicates how well they respect the people who are there now. Right. Yeah. And I think the High Street Cemetery is already looking so much better. Yeah, we've done a lot of work there. Oh, yeah, it's tremendous. And I also think that we we have a new cemetery section, section, section now, yes. correct? Yes, that so. is correct. And the are working and the Board of Trustees is working with Town management, right? If they have any questions, we're all trying to work together right. to get this, so, this problem solved. I think it's on its way to getting solved. So, thank you very much, yeah. Town Manager. All right, and this has fallen on Fred mostly, and, no. and you've done a good job uh, bringing us into the modern, <laughs> modern times. Correct. Good grief.